Hello and welcome to this presentation on gases and moles. As per usual, I do expect you to bring some previous knowledge to this video. Uh, the main one here is how to rearrange formula, but given that moles is in the title, I would kind of expect you to at least appreciate what moles are. Okay, so let's look at our particle model. A particle model of a liquid looks like this, and the particle model of a gas looks a bit like this. Now immediately, I would say that the gas particles are more spread out. And therefore, if I had the same number of particles of a liquid and a gas, the gas should occupy a larger volume. And this is one of the cruxes of, of what we're going to talk about today. Now, in the lab, we tend to use cubic centimetres as a way to measure particularly liquids. However, because gases take up a lot more room, we end up using quite a, a big number of cubic centimetres. So actually what we use is something called cubic decimeters. And one cubic decimeter is equal to a thousand cubic centimetres. OK, so we need to make sure we remember this conversion. In terms of molar gas volume, which we're going to introduce, we need to look at Avogadro's law. And that states that at the same temperature and pressure, equal volumes of all gases contain equal numbers of molecules. Well, what this actually means is that the volume of a gas, as, as long as we're using the same temperature and the same pressure, does not depend on the type of gas. And more than that, what we're going to expand on now is that one mole of any gas at room temperature and normal atmospheric pressure occupies 24 dm cubed. This is known as the molar gas volume. OK. Make sure we recognize this. So put this in an equation, the number of moles is equal to the volume in dm cubed divided by 24. So if I was to have the volume as equal to 24, well, 24 divided by 24 would equal the number of moles. OK. Remembering that 1 dm cubed is equal to 1000 cm cubed. And we might sometimes be given a question where we get given the volume in cubic centimeters. But I need to make sure I do this conversion so that we have the correct units. Let's work through a couple of examples. We're going to calculate the number of moles in 12 dm cubed of hydrogen gas. Number of moles equals the volume in dm cubed divided by 24. Plug our numbers in. Number of moles. OK, we've got 12 and 12. We know that this is going to be divided by 24. And that comes out as 0 0.5. So very, very simple calculation. Write down what the number of moles is that you've been given in the question. Here it was 12 and divide it by 24, as long as the units are the same. Another worked example. Calculate the volume occupied by 0 0.075 moles of nitrogen gas. Well, we know that a number of moles is equal to the volume in dm cubed. We get given the number of moles in the question, and we know it's 24. So what we need to do is rearrange the equation so that we get volume in dm cubed as our subject. So that now equals number of moles times by 24. We're going to plug our numbers in 0 0.075 times by 24, and that equals 1.8 dm cubed. Just as a heads up, that is 1,800 cubic centimetres. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short snippet into uh, gas volumes and moles, um, and you keep on watching my videos. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>